Kevin Faulkner officially began his second year in office. He inherited a city in turmoil, but ended his first year enjoying widespread public support. KUSI Steve Baj is here with a closer look at the mayor's first year. Steve? Ellen, his success was bringing stability to City Hall after the chaos of Bob Filner's final months as mayor. And Faulkner's favorability rating is up there in the 60s. Although just a year in office, there is evidence the mayor is keeping campaign promises. The city is becoming more unified. Confidence in government is growing, and so is optimism about the future. Political consultant John Dadian. Leadership starts at the top, and that's the best thing that he's brought to this office. It's the appearance that he's leading the city. John Dadian's counterpart, Tom Shepard, agrees. The mayor is extremely popular with the voters. That's a good place to be when you're a year out from, or a little bit more than a year out from your reelection. But on the issues, these two consultants have different takes. Mayor Faulkner faced three urgent issues besides stability when he came to office. $3 billion in infrastructure needs, the stadium issue, and convention center expansion. I think the record is somewhat mixed on progress on all three of those. Convention center expansion has basically been twisting in the wind ever since the court threw out the financing, and, and it can only twist so much longer. He's trying to work with the monolith, the, the, the Byzantine system that we got, especially with the courts being involved. On infrastructure, it's common knowledge the city doesn't have enough money for infrastructure needs. Shepard feels the mayor shifted that issue to the council's infrastructure committee chairman, Mark Kersey. Faulkner has appeared to be very reluctant to engage in that, I guess because he doesn't want to be associated with any kind of revenue generating measure at the same time his name might be on the ballot. Mark Kersey took the lead on this early on. The mayor's letting him get all the attention on that because Kersey's actually getting something done. And getting something done means it reflects good on the mayor's office and it reflects good on the city. Then there's the stadium issue. This could be a damaging issue for the mayor. The stadium issue may be the only one, but the big one that may be the, the mayor's Achilles heel. The difficult position he's in is, if they come up with a deal, there, there are going to be those who question whether there's too much of a commitment of city resources to it or that it's not a, really a good deal for taxpayers. Now, on the other hand, if the deal isn't sweet enough for the Chargers, the mayor will be the guy who's tagged with losing the team. Hmm. And word on the street is Mark Fabiani is up in Carson today. What might he be doing there? Well, he uh, emailed me this morning saying he was up there filing the initiative to get uh, the Chargers uh, Raiders stadium proposal on the ballot. Uh, that means they've collected enough signatures, which has to happen before you can file. He promised to send me uh, a copy of the initiative. I haven't got it yet, but when we get it, we'll pass it along. Sounds like things are moving forward on that end. We'll see. All right. Thank you, Steve.